What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another reaction. Now, this here, guys, is, this is huge. Now, you know me in fighting games, especially Mortal Kombat 11. I'm all over that. And I've dabbed, dabbed a little bit in the King of the Fighters and uh, some of the, you know, me and my past in 2D fighting games is pretty big. I don't, I don't really talk about it too much, but me growing up in high school, I would skip study study class, study hall, whatever it is, go to the arcade, circus, circus, pizza, and go to Street Fighter 2. Line up my quarters and mash on Blanca's electricity and have a blast, you know, a super heart attack, and then do the shock right after. And then after that Blanca, I moved over to Ken. And just, of course, the fireballs and dragon punches and the uppercut dragon punch combo is just legendary. Loved it. Loved all the characters and Bison at the end. Fantastic. Just love playing the game. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And of course, when Super Nintendo came out, you got that cartridge. You felt pretty, pretty damn incredible bringing that home to play it on the SNES at home. This is amazing, amazing time. You win. Anyway, now fast forward Street Fighter 6. Now, now for me personally, I did not dabble into Street Fighter 5. I just thought the art, art style was a little too... Uh, a little too cartoony for me even though i love 2d sprites neo geo and you know all this stuff it's just something about street fighter 5 that kind of just turned me off especially when they eliminated chun li's bounce chun li's bounce from the character select screen was like wow now that is a fighting game and that is beauty on screen anyway once they cemented that i was kind of like eh, yeah whatever, whatever now after mk11 and those sweet, sweet graphics of Unreal Engine. It was like a hybrid of th 3 and 4 or 4. It's kind of a hybrid of 3 and 4. Now, you know, the future MK is going to be incredible with the graphics. But I love realism in fighting games. And to have Street Fighter come out with an ultra-realistic graphics engine from RE Engine. You know, Resident Evil 7 and Village and all that stuff. They're going to put some serious work into these characters, and I cannot wait to see the detail. Now, you know, Ryu is looking badass, you know, in his full, full gi outfit with his bandana flowing in the wind. And those gloves. Dude's a badass, right? You remember Ryu? Huh. No beard, of course. He's clean shaven. But now in this one, you'll see rugged, tough, muscular all that let's check out this trailer in real time but what i want to point to everybody is this says this is real time graphics this is not a cg intro or some cg cinematic to get everybody excited this is real time graphics this is the graphics we're going to see when we're actually playing the game and pushing buttons legitimate and i'll show you i'll prove to you that it is real time but for right now let's check out this short teaser of street fighter 6 announcement with Ryu and Luke. I'm we'll just play it in real time and watch. And we'll go over the details. And I'm watching this in the 1440p. There is a 4K version on, on YouTube. I'm not All right, for it. you ready? Then you got this music playing, you know, the usual hype rap song. But let me tell you guys, seeing that Toron just explode like that is pretty badass. And I see him slayer and love the announcer. So let's 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 look at some details here. Let's bump it up to 4K. Let's mute it. And we're gonna slow it down a bit. We're gonna go playback of slow. Because it's only like a 30 second teaser. Let's go ahead and look at it a little bit here. So you got the glove, you know, the boxing training gloves, amazing. I can already tell, you see the polygon. You see the nice sharp edge right here. Right there, indication that this is not CG. Look at the sweat on the forearm. Love this. this is, we're gonna analyze this 30 second teaser for forever. I mean, the, the shadow definition and the lighting, amazing. To show that forearm with different striations in the, in the forearm with that lighting is beautiful. You see the glistening sweat beads 
on his arm. You see the flex of his forearm muscle. Amazing. You can actually see some cuts in his skin. It's fantastic. The pores almost. We can even see the pores. And I'm pretty sure there might be some hair follicles on this, on this model as well. Just like with Aloy and Horizon Forbidden West. If you do that photo mode and zoom in on her, on her cheek, you'll see hair in her cheek. It's incredible. Sweat running down. Sweat running down the arm. Amazing. Now what I'm hoping for is that there's blood and real-time bruising and damage that we've been accustomed to for a long time in fighting games. Real-time damage to see the constant damage and cuts as the fight goes on. I want to see that. I don't want to see characters all pretty and shiny from the first round going on to the third round. They're the same look. Hopefully they change it with this one. Look at Ryu's muscle form and definition is amazing. The sweat, of course, is all over the body. And hopefully in the beginning, he's not as sweaty. And as the game progresses, more sweat. You can even see in the background the steam coming off of him. Almost like he just got done with a finishing, or a, you know, like a special move or something. Possibly. Look at the striations in the in the pectoral muscle. It's flexing too. I mean, the muscle skeleton, skeleton of this character model it must be insane. From the bones to the muscles and then the skin. I mean, they might be going all out with this. Holy crap. Love it. You can see the sweat, the sweat beads all over the body. Incredible. He's got his beard. The little, little tease the beard here. Now, of course, you got, I don't know what you call these. They're, they're like rope sandals. They don't look very comfortable, but it is traditional footwear. As you can see, though, as the rope, you know, the polygon, the little, little sharp little turn here. It's real time, guys. This is not CG. So we got to put that out of everyone's mind. This is real time graphics zoomed in. Amazing. And I don't even know if he's floating off the floor over here in this background. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, no sweat follicles falling here, but the curl of the toes is very cool. Again, Ryu. Badass, muscular, beast mode. I don't know what's floating back here. It's sweat. I don't know, it's some kind of mist coming off of his body. Crazy. Now we're looking at Ryu here. I mean, I don't see the, the mid bandage around his waist, but totally took off the entire top part of his uniform. And then his gloves are definitely not super red. He must have switched them out. And of course, the beard is definitely grown out. Like he's a scruffles. You know, he, has, he does his own thing. Love it. Love it. Now, this shot right here reminds me of Rambo 2. Sylvester Stallone. He's to see his back muscles when he's fighting in that warehouse. That's what this shot reminds me of. Back muscles on point, bandana down the back, sweat everywhere, steam coming off of them. You know, like football players when they're playing in like a cold weather, or I don't know, it's hot, probably cold, take their helmet off, and you can see the steam coming off their heads. Amazing. Love it. The, the sweat engine in this game is, is ridiculous. I love it. It's fantastic. So Ryu, awesome. He's not to be messed with. He will mess you up. It's almost like the changing of the guard, old school to new school. Now we got the new guy, Luke. Apparently he's like the last DLC from Street Fighter V. I've never seen the guy, honestly. But I do like what he does with his forearms. Hey. <laughs> Reminds me of Johnny Cage. What's up? Mr. Hollywood. So he's got the flaring hair. He's got the dog tags. He's got the shirt underneath the... Uh, some kind of overlay hoodie thing, whatever that is. It's got the same kind of gloves, but his forearms, though. There's something to do with his forearms, right? Hey, what's up? Got that smile. Do you really want to be smiling like that with the OG Ryu? He doesn't seem to be intimidated. Love the lighting, guys. Lighting up above, shining downward. Very cool. Loosening up. Ryu's just standing there. He's not even looking at him. Ryu's not even looking at him. He's just like, all right, here we go. 
got to teach this guy a lesson. Uh, watch this. Now look at his forearm power up. That's so cool. <laughs> look at that smile. Like, get ready. Very cool. I don't know what his abilities are. If it's just like a pop by power up or something like that, or I don't know where it's from. Is there a backstory to how he does that? Guys, let me know in the comics. Kind of interested and curious to see what, what, what's, what his ability stems from. But I love when he throws it down and, and like this, <laughs> what is that? It's like, you remember the Hulk, Eric Bana, the Ang Lee Hulk? When in, in, towards the end of the movie, when, when Hulk is like calming down in the middle of San Francisco, because he sees Betty and he starts to shrink down. And as he shrinks, you can see all the, all the steam and then like the sweat and water dripping off of him. But he's just, he's like steaming. Kind of just remind me of that part. Very cool. But he just kind of throws his power down like, oh, calm down. Whew, calm down. Not yet. Not yet. Just kind of give you a little glimpse of what I have. Now Ryu will look at him. And you see the shining in his eye. The pointy eyebrows. Classic. The classic pointy eyebrows. He saw it. He's got those pointy, bushy eyebrows, just like in his original model of it. Got the beard going. Very nice. Hair on point. Mean. All right. Now, this is the proof that it is real time. You watch his dog tag, and his dog tag will clip into his, into his hoodie. Oh, you see it? You see it? There it is. The clipping in to his shirt. Confirmation. It removes all doubt that this is real time character models in engine. All right. So can we put all the doubters to rest? Everyone can realize this is a crowning achievement in graphic and fighting game capabilities that this is real time engine. Yeah. So now we get to that, 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 that ink, ink art stuff. Remember they did that in Street Fighter 4? I don't know how they're going to incorporate that into the real game. And look good, by the way, because you have realistic graphics and then you have this cartoon art style element. How are they going to infuse that together and make it look good and seamless and not throw everybody off? I'm curious. Let's go. I love this. Whoosh. And his face. You can see his facial features get mean i love that in, in any kind of fighting game when the faces will show aggression and anger and and, and power-ups and all that in the face that's attention to detail a detail that is sorely lacking in wwe 2k22 2k22 something or other when wrestlers are doing the finishing moves Really? Anyway. Ooh, I love the aggression. Ryu, come on. Ooh. And you can see that his face move his face animates two different ways. But I love it. Ooh, mean and then ooh, relaxed. I love how he shoots him. Get ready. And he brings the pain. Bam. And now we got the logo SF6. Definitely a lot of controversy on this logo that it's kind of generic. It's kind of esports. It's kind of bland. This can change, obviously. But I think it's more of a it's a more of a direct. It's a more of a not, no nonsense. It's more of a. This is. Street Fighter. Doesn't have to be flashy. Street Fighter Six. We all know. We all know what it's about. I love it. Footage represents a game still in development. Doesn't say what platforms it's on. Some people out there saying that this RE engine can be used on multiple consoles. 
I really, really hope that we break that barrier of, of, of PS4 and Xbox and Disco PS5 and Series X and, and Series S. I really want to get to that point of game development where we can truly enjoy the best graphic fidelity of these hardware, of this new hardware. You know, we, sometimes we got to just let, we got to let the dog go. We got to let, we got to let the, 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 the kid go to college. We got to let him leave the house. All right, all that, all those sayings. Get to cut ties, man. I know it's a huge base of players and a huge base of consoles out there, but hey, it is time to move on to the best hardware available to us, and that's PS5 and Series X. Series S, I mean, I know Series S in there. But come on, let's let's start taking full advantage of this harder money we're spending on these consoles and not be held back. Because even though it's multi multi-platform and all stuff, you know they have to downgrade graphics a little bit to make it work on these other consoles. And we're taking a little bit away from what we, the potential we could be getting. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be multi-platform, multi-generation. But man, I really wish it was Series X, PS5, and PC, of course, right? But we probably won't do it. It'll be that way. So the next news we'll get on this is going to be in summer. Summertime. Who knows what that means, summertime. I mean, that could be late, late summer. It could be early fall. I'm hoping they don't wait till past E3. I mean, hopefully like, uh, at, you know, at the latest E3. So that's Capcom. It's not PlayStation. So Capcom could be there announcement. It could be game awards, summer, summer game fest. I don't know, but just, we need something. Cause a lot everybody's just cramming for, for, for some more information here waiting seven days on a countdown and you only give us 30 seconds of an announcement teaser is a little, uh, come on, Capcom. You gotta give us more than that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video, my reaction and my thoughts on this uh, teaser. I will definitely be doing more reactions on whatever else they bring out. And I will definitely be buying this one day one. And I will be getting the ultimate, ultimate, whatever biggest monster package there is. Cause I did skip out on PS5 or PS5. I did skip out in Street Fighter V, so I will put all my efforts and resources and, 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 and whatever they throw out, I will buy. Because uh, let me tell you, when the ladies start showing up, wow. Can't wait to see the ladies in this. Just any characters, all the characters, right? Whew. Give me at least a roster of 20 plus. 20 plus fighters at least at launch. 25 would be a nice sweet spot. Can't wait, guys. Anyway, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Comment below your thoughts on the teaser announcement. Um, anything else you want to talk about, let me know, guys. Very excited for this. Can't wait. Holy cow. Street Fighter VI. It's, it's incredible. Keep the franchise going. And with this coming out, hopefully an MK12 announcement or a Killer Instinct 2 announcement is around the corner. Whew. It's a great day for fighting fans. Let's get it. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you later. Raph out. See ya. Oh, and of course, home theater rules.